So, you may have heard of Wish.com, a website that sells literally everything for ridiculously cheap prices and in today's market, authentic football boots can be very expensive. But on this website, they advertise and sell the same boots for low prices, or so it seems. I thought I'd buy myself a pair and check them out. I've just ordered that football boot, which I've actually got from Adidas, which is the real boot here in my hand that we're going to compare it to. However, in the colour options on the side here, they've got white, blue, black or black. Now, I think it's supposed to be, one of these supposed to be that blue colourway, because when you select the colour, they've got black, blue, white and light blue. So I've selected the blue ones, which I'm hoping are these ones to match these. Let's find out. And over one month later, it's nearly Christmas. The boots have finally shown up. So let's get them open. Ah, oh, would you believe it? The wrong colour has shown up. But here they are, both pairs of boots. Now, as I said, unfortunately, these have come in the wrong colour. It would have been good to have a direct comparison. But, first impressions, the stripes here are definitely different. The laceless design, pretty much bang on. Same sort of height and collar. I'm quite surprised at how authentic they look, but I don't think they're gonna hold up very well in comparison when we test them on the pitch. So anyway, that is my first impressions. Enough of me chatting. Let's get to the football pitch and test these boots out to see how bad the fakes really are. Also, one last thing to mention, the boots literally came in a bubble wrap bag. There was no box like you get with the authentic model. There was no bag for the boots. There was no insoles that were spare. Literally just the boots. And as I said, they've got the wrong insole. So let's crack on. We'll get the Adidas X19 Plus. This is the authentic model on first. I mean, straight away, these feel comfortable already. I've worn uh, various models of the Adidas X since it's evolved, and I've always been a big fan of it. So. I don't think I'm gonna have anything bad to say about these. They are comfortable out of the box. They're very tight because I've got wide feet, but that is no bad thing. That is how uh, they are designed. They look great. Um, so let's start off just doing some pings. So yeah, honestly, the first impression of these boots, they feel great, nothing that I didn't expect. Very comfortable, feel nice to strike the ball. Let's go put the other ones on. These boots uh, cost, as I said, I think it was like $40 off of Wish. So, let's put them on. Cool, they're tight. A lot tighter than the uh, Adidas model. There's no stretch in them. So after having my first few touches in these, walking in them, I'm not overly impressed. They don't feel like they're gonna come off. The collar isn't actually rubbing or digging in like I thought it would. They're not too bad. Next, I moved on to some very basic dribbling and movement with the ball to see how they felt when running and jogging. Now looking down at these boots, they actually look uh, not too far off of the original colorway, the original model. However, the performance is already lacking massively. For example, just doing a little bit of dribbling, a little bit of striking the ball, the stud pressure already is immense. On these, on these middle studs here, especially this one, it's uh, very painful. And also, the chrome's starting to chip off really quick, I don't know if you guys can see that all around the blade. The more that I'm wearing these boots, guys, I won't lie to you, it's very clear why they cost so cheap, because they're nowhere near as good, but I can tell you these feel horrible. Back to the authentic Adidas X, because these are hurting my feet too much. The replicas don't actually have any padding in the heel, which is one of the biggest discomfort issues I've had so far. Already, they just feel so much better on feet, they're tighter, they're more snug, I just love them. There's no point me going into too much detail with the authentic X boots, but the performance was so much better mainly due to the structure and fit of the boot. And what's important that you guys remember is although the replicas look the same visually, the build quality is so poor and dangerous looking back to playing. But enough of that, let's do some shooting. So the fake Adidas X's are on feet, let's do some shooting and see how they perform. <laughs> So 
after that first round of free kicks, the one thing I can say is because the boots are that much bigger, they are causing me a lot of comfort issues. Uh, also, they're so wide that my foot is rolling around, especially my standing foot when I'm striking the ball. Um, they're not great, but we're gonna have one more round of free kicks and I'll switch into the authentic Adidas X 19 Plus. <laughs> So now it's time to go back to the authentic Adidas boots, which is going to be such a relief for me. They're going to be so much more comfortable and hopefully I'll score some bangers. So after shooting with the X19 Plus, it is so clear how good they are um, and for me it made me appreciate how good expensive football boots actually are uh, because comfort levels were amazing, striking the ball, I had no pain, no stud pressure, no rubbing with the collar, absolutely fantastic and overall it just came up short when it comes to the quality of the football boots. So anyway, I'll give you my final thoughts now but for shooting, these boots win. Now, I'm sorry to interrupt this video, but there's one more thing I need to say about these football boots. Let me show you. Like I mentioned earlier in the video, this football boot has no structure and build, which is dangerous, and I've got two examples to show you. First of all, the speed frame outsole on the heel. This is supposed to offer structure and support for your heel. Here, I'm using my thumbs with little pressure, folding it inwards, which is terrible. Just to show you a comparison here, I'm using my thumbs again putting all my pressure and it is not folding or flexing in at all. Second point to make about these football boots, the sole plate should only be flexing in the forefoot where the toe box is, but these can fold clean easily in the middle with absolutely no pressure at all. In comparison, these football boots will only bend in the toe box area and with all my strength, I can't bend them in the middle. So to summarise with the fake football boots I bought from Wish, are they worth it? Absolutely not and would I recommend buying them? 100% no. Always go for the authentic product guys because today testing these they were very uncomfortable. Stud pressure was bad, the materials are not durable, they don't fit or feel like the authentic boots and as they are a knockoff, that is what you're going to get. It is not worth spending your money. Save your money, put it towards the real football boots and I hope that is a tip for you guys. Thank you for watching, I hope you did enjoy it. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like, comment and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.